Today I'm going to be talking to you about the different journeys of sickle cell warriors. Before the advancement of medicine, we were known as Ogbanje in Igbo land and Abiku in Yoruba land. I mean, we were so famous as Abikuns that Wale Shoinka wrote about us. And now, in modern day, we're known as Siklas. Although name doesn't define us, but name could be used as an end means for stigmatization. But these people that I'm talking to you about today, they did not allow this stigma to define them. Her name is Samira Sanusi. Samir, Mrs. Samira Sanusi spent seven years in the hospital. During that time, she was able to write a book about herself, S for Survivor. Seven years later, she was cured, and her fight for sickle cell led her to become an advocate. And now, Samira Sanusi is an advocate of sickle cell disease. Ms. Imago is a sickle cell warrior who went through a complication known as leg ulcer. And three surgeries later, Ms. Imabo survived and she became a content creator. She uses her platform to raise awareness on sickle cell and the stigmatization that sickle cell warriors have to face. Because of this, some warriors are not so okay with like showing their face. And that is this case of Mrs. Fatima Umar. Mrs. Fatima Umar is a story of a woman, a sickle cell woman, who had to stay in the hospital for months for the sake of her unborn baby. Months later, her daughter Aisha was born. And her story is a story of hope. We have sickle cell mothers too. Her name is Mrs. Sophia Mundi and Mrs. Hassana Mundi. You see, a three a.m. in the middle of the night, Mrs. Hassan Amundi discovered that her baby had turned blue. Not like a Smurf kind of blue, of course, like something like that, though. <laughs> and this happened because of lack of oxygen in sickle cell. Her three months old baby's name was Jehan Mundi. And together, both mothers took care of Jehan Mundi and they helped her to survive throughout these years. And five years later, she had another child. That is me. Just yesterday, I wasn't so sure if I would be standing here today. But here I am, with you. Sickle cell could be so unpredictable at times. And that has affected me in many ways. In school, relationships, everything, literally. And my journey with sickle cell led me to start the first sickle cell foundation in Niger State, Lafia Sickle Cell Foundation. And our advocacy had just begun. We want to end the stigmatization against sickle cell warriors. And not just that, we want to break the sickle cycle. Together, 
Together, we can do this. We want the world to recognize us not as sicklers, but as warriors that we have and have all that we are today. Thank you very much. <laughs>